welcome back to Sporty Monday. We are glad you are still there. And of course, the discussion continue. But now, let's take you to our national women football team, Harambe Starlets, who made a statement of intent, caging Cameroon's Lionesses with a pivotal 1-0 win to cruise through 4-3 in penalty shootout at the Nyayo Stadium last week, thereby booking a ticket to the second round of the Africa Cup qualifiers. And as Zita Jimoy reports, the girls' stoic rise is emblematic of the huge potential women's football hold in the country. <laughs> Despite the challenges facing women's football, Harambe Stalets have been making significant progress in the recent past, highlighting the potential women football has in Kenya. Their rise to the top of African football has been steady but slow, and last week they made a statement of intent when they put to the sword Cameroon women's side, the Lioness, before a friend's crowd at the Nyayo National Stadium. By bundling out the Cameroonians, the girls have earned the date with Botswana, whom they confront in the second leg and final round of the Women African Cup of Nations qualifiers. The match set to be played between the 27th of November and December 5th, 2023. We want us to, to play more, to get more friendlies, um, to get new players, to see new talent. I would uh, like the country, the ministry, to help us organize tournaments for the under uh, categories, the under 20s, the under 17, the under 18s. Not for us to go to the camp and ministry says that we don't think under 18 is important. We got that last time. And um, if, if we get such support and we see more girls and we see more growth and we support in school and uh, we get good coaches in school, then as a country, we are good to go. I am a FKF watu support sana juu sisi madem tuko na passion ya kucheza ball atuja kuja kucheza tu ball hapo for the sake of playing because we have big dreams of playing europe eh, so ningependa sponsorship zikuje ma sponsor wa kamu watu support ligi yetu kwa sababu what a man can do a woman can do better pia si madem tunacheza hiyo ball na ball ni 90 tunacheza wote 90 si machaliwa anacheza 90 plus si tunacheza 90 so ne, ne, ningependa tu government equalize Doenye na kuja kusupport ligi. Na expect tu venye maboi pia wana support wana finance. Pia sisi madem tu support iwe. E, do pia sisi tu kuena yoko karija kuenda ta kucheza ball. Bila yoko finance unajua madem wengi wana 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 ni kama wana waste time kucheza ball. Jua kuna do na wengine wana fawa take ya familia nini nini. Pia unafuu jiteke weka madem. Mm, kama kuna do wezi. Their win brought joy to many Kenyan football fans, but it does not take away the tough times they have navigated through. From friendly matches cancellation to lack of good training facilities, meager allowances and inconsistency in the technical bench, among others. The girls have witnessed it all, but have stood firm in the face of diversity. Since we came from suspension, we have not had finances. You remember all our sponsors went, so we have not had finances. So if you have to get good, good play from the women players, you need them in camp longer time than the, women, the men. Because you have to start by building the physical fitness before you, you start now improving the techniques. And with the Women League set to resume in a few days, the Women League leadership and the Starlets management hope that things will soon fall in place. Ababuna Mwamba amekuwa ki support tumekuwa tukimwona kwa grao kwa viwanja amekuwa kikam. It's a big picture for us kwa sababu tunajua anaweza fanya more na tunajua hata tu support. So na muomba ligi zikianza as a play doh zitufikie pia si tuweze kucheza ball na tuko na hiyo morale ya kuendelea ku play more. For now their goal is to conquer Botswana, who they face in the next handle, as they train their eyes on the ticket to the next year Women African Cup of Nation finals to be held in Morocco. After the beautiful performance from the Starlet, the women in sport are now appealing to the government to increase its funding. Reporting for Citizen TV, Sporty Monday, I am Zita Jimoy. That's Zita Jimoy from Nyayo National Stadium, of course, 
very passionate about women football. Yes. And so is Chitera. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, we kicked out the Lionesses. A uh, major milestone because I th don't think our national uh, men's team are capable of pulling off such a feat, at least at this point in time. But now, the question is, are we able to beat the next opponent, Botswana, to earn that ticket to Morocco? Uh, Botswana beat Gabon 6-0. Uh, that was uh, 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 an intentional psychological message to Harambe Starlets. A statement of intent. Correct. Mm -hmm. But look at um, the team that we are playing, Cameroon. Uh, Cameroon is a formidable team mm. uh, with players uh, playing for good clubs out there like uh, uh, Inter Milan mm. in uh, Italy, uh, in uh, La Liga. Uh, what I can say is the same statement that the president has put out there. Let him follow it through with uh, now the national team. As you say, we are planning to host. What about the people who will be carrying our message? Mm. This is the, the information. As he prepares the national men's team, let him also look at what our women have done. And I was in that uh, match, uh, probably we never hyped it as it is supposed to be. Mm. We did it on Sporty Monday. The fans came out in large numbers, but uh, the government failed us. This is a match that we should have had uh, the minister leading from the front, mm. uh, because this is our national women's team. I only saw some token uh, from uh, former governor uh, Sonko, Mike Mbovi Sonko, mm. who was there in the match. Mm. And after the match, he gave the girls 250,000 as an appreciation. Mm. This appreciation should be coming from the government. But the government. But that would it be too early, probably? Are we no, not no, jumping no, no, no. the gun? Because we are not no. jumping the gun. No, no. Post, uh, what I want to ask is Chitera. Yes. Uh, we, we've seen uh, our heroic athletes being rewarded when they win medals. We, we, we saw uh, the Malkia Queens, the volleyball team, awarded because they I conquered know, Africa. What I'm saying probably is, shouldn't we wait for the girls to no, win no, the no. ticket? We should have started at the stadium. I'm saying at the stadium. Mm. That we should. We saw the president uh, giving. Wait, we saw the president giving a message before the South Sudan game. Mm. We didn't see it at the start. That's what I'm saying. A motivation. A motivation. Yeah. You see, we should a, a have call to war, so to speak. We should have started it before. Uh -huh. We should have been with the girls in the stadium, and then uh, continue the celebration because the celebration. Allow me to allow me to just celebration is something. On. Yeah. Yes. But before it's, you it's, come it's in, good. Just, before just, you come in, let me finish. Just to everything. clarify, point of information is CS yes, and uh, the CS was, uh, was out not of the country. Kenya, yeah. He was the, in the US with yeah. the president actually, mm -hmm. and uh, he actually said when he arrived back from Cairo after the bid mm. that he was following the match mm. Mm. when uh, Airborne going to Cairo mm. for, for for the for the bid. For the bid yeah. So we need to be fair to him okay. also. Okay, let me let me put it in a context maybe that you will understand. Mm -hmm. When I say the sports should lead from uh, the front, he's leading a ministry, a ministry that has government officials, a ministry that uh, when he's absent, There's someone engineer, else engineer steps in. Yeah. Yes, the peers was in. But uh, uh, no, uh, on a positive note, let me tell you that uh, the fruits that we are seeing on the pitch from the women's side, I want to congratulate uh, Nick Mwendo for this job. Because when he came in in 2014, he put it as his project. 2016. 2016. And now we are seeing the fruits. Mm -hmm. Of course, he started before he came in, but he has really actualized his dream to ensure that women football in Kenya uh, is on the table. And to shock you, probably maybe this is the first team that will take Kenya to the World Cup. Uh, First team, uh, Shitera, I mean, Jacob, with the real, I want you maybe to break it down, tactical formation. Right. Uh, off screen, Shitera raised questions about probably mm -hmm. deployment, <laughs> AC Akida playing in this role. What should maybe coach building change heading to Botswana two-leg tie? First, I need to, to say kudos to mm -hmm. Beldin for two major things that I saw in the match. Mm -hmm. Number one, she is bold. Mm -hmm. She doesn't stick to that which is not working. Uh, if you look at the cadre of the players that we have with the Starless team, going by what we have seen most of the times with our men's team, for a long time, there are players who are not touched. Mm. 
mm. even when it's not their day. Like but Saka at Arsenal. <laughs> Saka at Arsenal, <laughs> if you want it that way. Yeah. Um, but Berdin mm. noticed what, what, what was not working. And uh, for example, talking about a player like um, uh, Akida, I, I had just seen that she was played out of position. I think it was tactical. You saw in the first match when we played uh, Cameroon home, uh, they were, the defenders were all over uh, her. And the attention actually was being now removed from her. And that's why she played on the flank that day. Didn't work very well. But at the time when the coach needed to do the changes, we, we, we see them being benched uh, and uh, it, it worked very well. So I want to congratulate her. She got it right. The changes worked and everything. Now, I will say this. There has been, uh, this team has done, I've done their, they have punched above their weight because uh, coming from a two-year break, yeah, and you are able to still uh, get a knockout Cameroon for, <laughs> for heaven's sake. Cameroon has not, Kenya has played Cameroon. I had you mention the, the idea of uh, what the men's team would do against the, 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 the Harambe Stars. Hmm. But even the, the, the ladies' team, we have not had a team that has beaten, we have not had a, a Starlet team beating or even drawing Cameroon. All the time we have been beaten. This was the sixth time and we were able to beat them. So it was a good one. Uh, I want to believe that Botswana, we can beat them. But one thing, you look at uh, what uh, Shitera actually said that uh, Nick has done very well with the ladies, but uh, already we have a friendly coming up uh, for the Harambe Stars against Russia this month. Yeah, but you ask the question, why don't we have also an international friendly for the ladies mm. uh, going to the Botswana match? Because uh, we know Harambe Stars are preparing for the World Cup qualifiers next month, but these ladies are preparing for something that is very critical, crucial. but very crucial. So I, I think we, we only had a friendly against, um, against uh, police bullets before we played Cameroon and Highway, the students. So I believe that we can have a better match <laughs> international <laughs> I just Right there, the, the guns. <laughs> you just pulled it from, from me. Mm -hmm. Quality opposition when going for AFCON, so to speak, qualifier because it's a continental championship. Mm -hmm. And he's mentioned we played a high school team. Zeta, are this the kind of opposition we should measure ourselves because we are going to face a very formidable side? Um, I think uh, if you've heard what the coach said, mm -hmm. we need to, before going to Botswana, playing yes. against Botswana, mm -hmm. we need to have a very good friendly, actually friendly match, international friendly match, mm -hmm. because it's going to give us um, another level of playing. Mm -hmm. Let's maybe, let, let me say, you know, the, like maybe the, in FIFA ranking, ranking, maybe the top, top 50 teams, yeah. mm -hmm. it will help us even mentally knowing what we're going to face. So for me, I think we should go that direction because because Cameroon was a very good team actually playing with us because this is the first time they are missing out of um, AFCON. And um, I was in the stadium and uh, everything, atmosphere was uh, very good. I just want to just keep a challenge. If you see people, like if you see an international game played in, let's say our neighbor Tanzania, we see leaders, even MPs coming to watch what the match. I was expecting more of the, our MPs that is um, like ladies. Yeah, the to come, ladies. Yeah, the women leaders to come they and come support the them. girls because yes, those right. are the people, even if they post on the social media, they're going to pull crowd. Like my MP is going to watch this team. They're going to pull pr the crowd what to come and watch the team, mm. the team play. Not even only the ladies is even the men team, even all, if, if all the leaders come together, because this, it's a national event, you know, if all the leaders come together and support the teams, it's going to be very good. And then uh, um, if you can see the feature now, they, uh, actually the uh, FKF women, um, uh, Cape, uh, Kenya Premier League, it's really growing now. And um, I can see other teams have acquired the women, the nice. women team. You can see the bullet, uh, uh, police uh, bullets are doing very well. And for me, I'm like, if we are going in the right direction, um, the FKF KF is really doing a, a very good job with the women team. And then something that I want to know is that let us do the positive. As much as we want result from them, let us hold their hands. Let us see the sponsorship into their team. Mm. Let us see that we are, the, t the girls are not going uh, without being paid their, their, allow mm. their allowances, without being paid even their, what, their bonuses. Month, yeah, the bonus and monthly payment even to the other teams. Mm. So for me, I'm seeing the positive in it because they're, this is putting our team actually in the map. Like Kenya, everyone was asking, Kenya, in it, Timu ya Timu ya Wapi, nakuja kupiga. Can I say something real quick? When Waziri came back from uh, from Cairo, he said something that really touched me. Hmm. And he said that uh, when he was watching the match, uh, Stars Cameroon, he said that uh, there were Kenyans who were commenting very negatively mm -hmm. about our possibility of winning the match. Mm -hmm. And also uh, pertaining the bid, he was saying that we can't win. Uh, there are Kenyans who are saying that we can't win it. And he was saying, the spirit of supporting teams being patriotic is supporting your team when you're winning 
and yeah, we're losing. losing. Actually, yeah, actually, actually to forgive the leaders, um, mm. to forgive the leaders, we That's forgive. Yeah, we forgive them. Mm. But now, starlets have proved that we can beat a formidable, indomitable lionesses mm -hmm. and put the challenge on the table. Now, I challenge the leaders: give these girl girls a proper, proper. Uh, camp as they prepare for Botswana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cameroon were in camp, I think, for two weeks. Starlets, uh, star Starlets were in camp, I think. Some players jetted in like two, three days to the game. Mm -hmm. So why can't we give these girls a proper camp, mm -hmm. give them a proper friendly? This is the only opportunity probably we can be uh, at the Continental uh, Championship, Championship. Mm -hmm. after uh, Stars lost out mm -hmm. uh, for 2025 mm -hmm. yeah. and 24. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the only time we can see our flag up there. So it's my plea to the government support these girls 150%. Support the girls 150%, says Shitera, and we would have loved to have the sports CS Ababu Namwamba right on set, but we promise you we'll make a date for that so that you can talk to these policy issues the panelists are raising. Away from that, there's a tournament that's ongoing, Shitera, uh, uh, you see, uh, right at the grassroots.